Hey guys, thank you so much for choosing At Home Yoga with Nicole to do your practice today. If you like this video, be sure to check out my Patreon, which is listed in the show notes. Also subscribe because a new class is gonna be out every single Monday. And then if you'd like to donate for content creation for future videos, you can always donate at Venmo or PayPal. All of that's listed on my Instagram at At Home Yoga with Nicole, all one word. Thank you so much, enjoy your practice. Welcome to At Home Yoga with Nicole. I am Nicole, and this is my home. Today we're going to be doing a practice called Hold Me Closer, Tiny Dancer. If you know it, sing along. <laughs> but this practice is not just for dancers, because I am not a dancer, but we are all dancers in our hearts, and we will be connecting all the asanas in a beautiful way, moving our bodies, taking up space, and all pretending to be dancers. Uh, it's all about deep stretch, strengthening the core, and having some fun with it. So if you're ready, let's head to the mat. We're gonna start today in cobbler's pose, which is when our feet kiss and our knees fall out like butterfly wings. Feel free to sit against a wall. That's what I'm doing. You can also sit up on a cushion if that feels right today. Let your knees get nice and heavy. Hands can relax to wherever they fall naturally. So it may be the knees, for me it's the ankles, maybe it's the shins. And for here, power down the eyes or a soft gaze on your screen. And I want you to start to connect to your breath. And as you sit here and find stillness, really narrowing your focus to your time on your mat and leaving anything you don't need outside the door or the room or even just outside of your mat space. I've been marinating a lot on this concept of productivity. I recently listened to a podcast and um, I associated what they were talking about to our yoga practice, to our movement. And the question that popped into my head is, am I doing this for productivity? We live in a culture right now that really celebrates the hustle, filling every moment of every day, and that's not always healthy for your mind or your body. So thinking about how we're optimizing our time, Am I optimizing my time for more? Or am I optimizing my day for how I feel? Am I doing this yoga practice because it makes me feel good? Or am I doing it just to check off a little box? So I challenge you in this moment, in the rest of your week, to ask yourself about the why. Why are you doing this? And hopefully eventually we'll get to the place where yoga movement is no longer a box to check, but rather something to do in celebration of yourself just because it feels good. So this practice will be about making it feel good to you. Anyways, just something I've been marinating and something I thought I'd share with you all. From here, since we've let those knees fall nice and wide, we'll set our one word intention for class today. One word you feel like you need to connect to, that you need to fill with for this next 35 minutes. And I want you to bring that word to the space behind the third eye. We're gonna do three nice cleansing breaths. Let's do it together. Inhale through the nose, and sigh it out through the mouth. Again, inhale that one word intention. And sigh out anything that's not serving you right now. Last one. Inhale through the nose. And sigh it out. Eyes flutter open. 
We'll go into our first dancer stretch. Take the right leg in, left leg will come out. Flex the left toes. Sit tall. We're gonna inhale, right arm up. Left arm's gonna come under and we'll get a beautiful side stretch. Keep that left foot flexed. You can find stillness here or a little bounce, a little playfulness. Don't be afraid to find what feels good. That's the yoga with Adrian thing, but truly find what feels good to your body. I like to use my left elbow towards the inner thigh. Some people are not gonna be able to get that low and that's okay. Finding that play of opposites, right? Last few breaths. And let's inhale through center. Left hand's gonna come to the right knee. Just a nice counter twist. Inhale deeply. Exhale, float forward through the other side. So left foot comes in, right leg comes out, flex that foot. You can always remove any flesh from underneath you. Sometimes that helps with grounding. We'll inhale, left arm up and over. Find this beautiful dancer stretch. You can pretend you're in any sort of ballet. <laughs> you're in the Nutcracker. You're in center stage or Black Swan. <laughs> I've never seen Black Swan, but I do know that there's black and white beautiful costumes and there's ballet. <laughs> Have some fun. Move your body, never feeling like anything's stagnant or still. Find that playfulness. And we'll come back through center. Right hand comes to left knee. Let's do that counter twist. Nice deep inhale. On the exhale, turn forward. Excellent. Let's bring both feet straight out. I'm going to turn so we're doing it sideways. Give yourself a healthy bend of your knees here. Flex those feet towards your nose. We're gonna do a nice fold forward. Being patient with yourself, wherever your hands land, that's where they're landing today. So inhale, arms up, sit tall, and then imagine we're lifting up and over. So inhale up and over. Wherever your hands land, they land. Let the head hang heavy here. Try and release those shoulders away from the ears. Keep those feet flexed. Maybe eventually being able to straighten out those legs, but no rush today. Breathe deeply into the lower back. Soften the skin of the forehead, release the jaw. Find the joy in your practice. Make it feel good. Take one more deep inhale. On the exhale, let's slowly roll up. Excellent. Time for our hands and knees. So dance your way there, right? Over to tabletop. Taking the time you need to get there in a healthy way. Open those tree frog fingers, shoulders over the wrists, Hips over the knees, we'll do a little cat-cow. So inhale, belly drops, gaze comes up. Exhale, pull the belly button back, chin drops to chest. Inhale, nice deep breath here. Exhale, pull back. Press the tops of the feet down into the mat. Going at your own pace. Make it feel good. Take your time. And when you feel like you've done both sides equally, meet back in your beautiful tabletop. We're gonna get fancy here. Let's take the right foot back, toes to the mat. We're gonna get a nice calf stretch here. So just going forward and backwards. Breathe into that calf. 
And then to get a nice side opening, we're gonna take that right foot, draw a circle around the left. Oops, at home practice, you kick your wall sometimes. And you're gonna go back to the left corner of the mat. So you're squeezing those inner thighs together. And then your gaze is gonna look back towards your left booty. You're gonna feel a side opening in the right side. Nice, look back at that heel. Check that the heel is reaching back. And let's draw our line back and come back into tabletop. Yes, nice. Let's do the other side. Reach back with the left toes, plant them into your mat. Let's get that nice calf stretch. Plant down into that right foot, draw the line whoop, over to the right side. So you've got inner thighs crossed, left foot's crossed over, right foot's planted down into the earth. Look back down the right side. Feel it stretching your neck and an opening in the left side. Press the earth away. Last few breaths, inhale. On the exhale, draw it back, back into tabletop. Nice, let's do a little core. So pressing down into the earth, press the earth away. We're gonna tuck both toes and we're gonna go into a hovering table. So what that looks like is just hovering your knees off your mat. At first you're like, this is not a big deal, but after a while you'll feel your core engage. Now this may be enough for you, or reach back like that calf stretch and hold it for one, two. Bring it back. Other side, left foot, one, two. Bring it back to hovering table. One, two, bring it back. One, two, bring it back. We'll do one more set. One, two, bring it back. One, two, bring it back. Keep hovering for five, four, you got it. Three, two, one. Lower down, nice. Widen those knees, toes together. Pull back into extended child's pose. Relax the forehead down to the mat. Catch your breath. I love that hovering table because not every time, not every time do you want to get up and do crunches or sit-ups, but you're getting the same sort of strengthening to that core, which is going to hold us steady in so many poses um, with something like hovering table. So use that one. If you do a set of like 10 to 15 every day, whew, you'll feel it. Keep breathing. Breathe in that one word intention. On your next inhale, let the head rise and then walk the hands back, bringing the knees together. Now we're headed to our first downward dog. So open those tree fog fingers, tuck the back toes, peel up. Finding your downward dog. Take your dog for a walk. Making sure the feet are hips width distance apart. So it's not too narrow. You don't want your big toes touching. We want an external rotation of the hands, the arms, internal rotation of the hips. To get that, slightly pigeon toe your toes. And then I heard this cue the other day and I loved it. Imagine like you're opening two jars of pickles. <laughs> so you're turning them outward. And then pull those hips back. Let's do a nice cleansing breath here. Inhale through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth. Beautiful, inhale right foot up, look between those hands, step on through. Low lunge, keep those toes tucked or untucked. Hands can come up to the thigh or inhale straight up. Long back of the neck, stack that knee over the ankle. Feel that beautiful stretch in the front of the left thigh. Breathe. 
and then we're going to come backwards, straightening out that leg. You don't want to drop the booty to the heel, but keep it straight. Runner's lunge, runner's a stretch. You can absolutely have a hearty bend to that front leg. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, fold as far as you can. Maybe dropping the head. You can even rub through that hamstring if it feels tight. And then rolling back on through. Plant those hands, step back into plank or modified plank. Stay here for three, two, one. Pull those hips up and back, downward dog. Nice, make any adjustments you need to your downward dog. Open those pickles. Maybe bend the knees and straighten them. We'll do the other side. Inhale, left leg up. Look between those hands, step on through. Drop the back knee. Toes are up or down. Hand walks up. Inhale, arms up. Beautiful, low lunge here. Remind yourself of that one word intention. Why are you here today? Make it feel good. Nice. Then we'll lower the hands and we'll bring the foot back. Half splits. You'll feel it in your hamstring. I feel it in my hamstring. <laughs> Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Being patient with yourself, hamstrings can get really tight real fast. Send a breath to any place that feels particularly tight today. It's definitely my hammies today. And then we'll roll on through. Step back into plank or modified. And hold it steady. Gaze is straight ahead for three, two, one. Find your way back to downward facing dog. Nice. Keep breathing, pull those hips back so we're not putting too much weight in the wrists. Nice, inhale, right leg up. Look between those hands, step on through this time. Don't drop that back leg. We're just gonna drop the back heel. We'll inhale up into warrior one. Just a reminder, your hips face forward. Front leg is bent. Gaze is straight ahead, warrior one, powerful. The back toes are pointed to the left front of your mat. Breathe. We'll do a nice deep inhale. On the exhale, open to warrior two. So you may need to widen your stance. Back foot is parallel to the back of your mat. Front knee is bent. Arms relax. Careful that you're not Leaning forward or back, you're stacking. Feel your power here, you've got this. Gaze is over the front fingers. Pull those pinkies back. Strong warrior two. Breathe. Nice, keep that front leg bent. Front hand turns upward. We're gonna reach forward this time. Reverse warrior. Nice, keep breathing, opening this side body, and we'll come back through warrior two, cartwheel, make it pretty, planting those hands, stepping back into plank, you can hang out here, lower knees, then chest, then chin, or lower from plank, down to your belly. Roll the shoulders back, untuck the toes, cobra, shoulders away from the ears here and release down. Tuck those toes, inhale. On the exhale, pass through knees or plank, and then meet back in downward facing dog. Other side, inhale, left foot up. Look between those hands, step on through. Just drop the back heel. Make sure you're not on a tight rope, but there's good space between the two legs. And bring the arms up. 
Take the time getting your hips point forward. What I feel is I really feel the inner thigh of my right leg turn on. The back leg is working. Check that you're not gripping in the toes. Breathe. Nice deep inhale. On the exhale, find your way to your warrior two. Stack that knee over ankle. Strong. Gaze is out in front. Your heart rate should be up. You may be getting warm. Turn that front palm up. Reach forward. Reverse warrior. Be mindful that you keep that front knee bent. A lot of times people want to straighten out that leg. That's a different pose. Breathe. Not too much weight in this back hand. It's just stabilizing. Inhale back through warrior two and dance your way down. Find a plank or modify. Lower here knees, then chest, then chin. Roll the shoulders back for cobra. Exhale, release. Tuck those toes, inhale. On the exhale, pass back through plank or knees. And then back through downward facing dog. Take a nice cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose. And sigh it out through the mouth. And then walk those hands back. Bend your knees to the back of your mat, finding a nice forward fold. Hang the head heavy like a bowling ball. Shake it out, yes. Shake it out, no. Give yourself a generous bend of the knees if you have tight hamstrings. Nice. And then nice and slow, root down into the earth. Let's roll up one vertebrae at a time. Head will be the last thing up. I'm warm. It's warm now, which I love. Great, now that we're at the back of our mat, we're gonna do something a little fancy. Uh, this will be, I'm gonna turn towards you, like a gym class stretch. So take your right arm, so fancy, right? Bring it across the body. Left arm will hold it here. Check that the shoulders are melted down the back. Feel that nice opening in the chest. You'll feel that opening in the shoulder, rather. And from here, here's our fancy transition. You've got the right hand. You're gonna grab it by the wrist. We're gonna come up and over. How that's gonna work is take your left foot Draw that circle behind you, and then bring that arm up and over. You'll feel a nice opening here. Breathe. And come back to center, stand tall. We're gonna do the other side. Now you know it, get ready. Left hand comes out, bring it across the body. You're gonna hold it there. You might want to move your neck around. Sometimes that feels good. So shift the weight over to the left foot. Right foot, again, is going to draw that circle. You're going to grab the left wrist and bring it over. Nice side stretch. Like a figure skater. You're so fancy. Keep breathing. Nice, and come back through center. Find Tadasana, mountain pose. I love it. Here, let your eyes power down or again to soft gaze. Just notice how you're feeling. Is your body a little bit warmer? Is your mind a little bit quieter, clearer? Are you finding the joy in the practice? Does it feel good? And then let's do a cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose and sigh it out through the mouth. Excellent. Now we're gonna head to the long ways of our mat. So turn to the side. 
we're going to have some fun here. So open the feet nice and wide. Toes can point out slightly. Hands to hips, just to start. Nice. So stand tall, chest is open, tuck the tailbone under. And from here, we'll do a nice deep inhale to lengthen. On the exhale, nice and slow, shoulder blades reaching back. We're gonna reach forward. You may need to play with where the toe placement is. Gazing forward. So you've got this nice flat back. We want to be really careful that we're not overarching or rounding. So think about those cat cows. Ground down through those feet. We may be able to go further, but let's try to hang here for a second. Bring those shoulders back, shift the weight to the front of the toes. Keep breathing, you've got it. And then nice and slow, we'll lower down into our forward fold and do a little dance. Bend one knee and then the other. We'll go side to side. Let your head kind of go with it. Opening up those hammies. Whew. Giving some love to the fascia of the hip flexors. And then find stillness. This time turn the toes just slightly in. Fold forward. Hands can be right under where you're standing or pull the hands back evenly with the feet. Elbows tuck in. Head hangs heavy. Feel the length through the back of the neck. Soften the face, shift the weight forward slightly. Maybe engaging the inner thighs by trying to squeeze them together. Nice. And then we're gonna tiptoe the fingers up. We're about to get crazy here. I'm gonna move back so you can see. We're gonna tiptoe those fingers, dance them over, over to the right side. Create a grip either on the shin of the right foot, the ankle, or tucking all 10 fingers underneath the foot. From here, you're gonna deeply bend that left knee. Relax your head to lay on the left arm. So it'll look something like this. Awesome stretch right down here. Underneath that armpit. You'll feel it to the inner right thigh as well. Just let the head relax. Playing with bending that left knee. And breathe. Last few breaths. Let's release. Come back through center. Nice. We're gonna do the same thing. Tiptoe, tip finger, those fingers over to the left. Create a grip on the shin, the ankle, or tuck all 10 fingers underneath the left foot. So I'm going around the outside by the little toe. And then relax the head down to the right arm. Bend that right knee. Have some fun here. Make it feel good. My hamstrings are pretty tight today, so I'm going to send a breath to there, to that area. Notice which place you're feeling the stretch. Everyone's bodies are built differently, so you'll feel it in different spots. And if you feel a place that's particularly tight, send some energy there. Last few breaths. And let's release tiptoe back through center. Nice. And then what we're gonna do is bend the left knee and see if you can let the right toes pop up. Now you may not have the heel of the left foot down, that's okay. I actually have to really practice to be able to do that. <laughs> so if your heel is popped up, that's great. Let your fingers help you stay tall. You're gonna feel a nice stretch in that leg. Length of the back of the neck, try to take the wrinkles out of the back of the neck. Nice. And if you wanna play with getting the heel down, like my heel's down right now, I need to like counterbalance myself, uh, play with it. Worst that happens, you fall on your bum. Breathe. And then we're gonna 
transfer over to the other side. So you can come up with your fingers down and tiptoe them over, or challenge yourself. See if you can do it even with no hands. What? You can get real fancy, right? Very Spider-Man-esque. And again, your heel might not drop down. This side's a little more difficult. Flex that left foot. Take the wrinkles out of the back of the neck. Feel that beautiful stretch to the inner thigh. Remind yourself of that one word intention. Have some fun. You are a dancer. Last few breaths. Nice. Then we're gonna get fancy here. Come back through, bend that left knee, and then we're gonna turn to find this lunge. Yes, step back into plank or modified. Lower knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, which is right here, that hover. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Shoulders away from the ears. Pull back into downward facing dog. Yes. Nice. Let's lower the knees. And just sit back here. If this position is not an option for you, it's your knees. You can always roll this bad boy back for a little cushion. Tuck a cushion under there or sitting crisscross is also fine. Ooh. Why don't we all just do a little neck roll? Hands can relax. And if you want a deeper stretch to the feet, you can tuck the toes under. Let the eyes power down here. Shoulders roll back and reconnect with your breath. Make this feel good. So if the sitting position you're in right now is not the right one for your body right now, take the time, change it. Find the right spot that feels just right. some deep breaths, reconnecting with that one word. Finding that joy. Slow down enough that you notice the sounds in the room. I hear the birds outside today. Notice how you feel. How are you? How are you truthfully? And however you are today, know that you'll feel different tomorrow. You'll feel different next week, you'll feel different next month. Nothing is permanent. And then I'm going to ask you to inhale, arms straight out. Turn the palms towards each other. And start to really feel, this is going to be a little hippy-dippy, the string of energy between the two centers of your palms. So straight line from that shoulder blade, shoulders away from the ears. You'll start to feel almost a buzzing. Maybe you like the color, some sort of color between them. But a loving, positive energy between your palms. And here's where we're gonna hold you a little closer, you tiny dancer. 
Take those arms and give yourself a big hug, feeling that energy line twist and then wrap around you. Oh, it should feel good. Hold me closer, tiny dancer. Oh, what a dork. And then open up again. Other arm goes on top. Another big hug, wrapping yourself in that energy you created. You've got everything you need. And you come back through center, relax the hands. One more deep cleansing breath together as a class. Inhale through the nose. Inhale that one word intention. And sigh it out through the mouth. And bringing the hands together in prayer. Let's bring the hands to the center of the forehead for wisdom. To the center of the mouth for freedom to the center of the heart for love. I thank you so much for choosing At Home Yoga with Nicole for your practice. It means a lot to me that you choose this practice and that we can connect here. I hope you'll revisit the practice, do it over and over again, find the joy in your day and carry that joy throughout the rest of the week. Doing things that make you feel good rather than checking off that box. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Come back next Monday for a new class. Let's close out. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. Thank you all. I'll see you again next week. <laughs>